it's always when you want to do something really important, the computer will piss us off. Tell Microsoft about this problem. Does it help? No. So we thump the screen and we thump the keyboard and we get nowhere because the problem is in the tower. And we know that, but we just sometimes can't fix it. And it's extremely annoying. So today, there's a little science experiment, right? Which I'm going to fucking enjoy. Because I've had years of shit from computers. And it, today, it is payback time. So I'm really looking forward to this one. But I have to say, right, don't try this one yourself. Now, if I say don't try it because it's dangerous, trust me, it is. Now, I'm going to show you what we're going to do, right? It is a bit naughty. That computer is all wired up and on, yeah? And I wanted to put the whole thing in that microwave. But, of course, it won't fit. So I've opened the microwave very carefully and I'll show you what we've done. Hang in there with this. The computer's come up with an error message. See if we can get on there. Yes, he is indeed. But anyway, we've all seen microwaves before. We've all seen what happens when we put stuff in them. But uh, this is Photonic Induction's channel. And this is something slightly different. For those who know how a microwave works, you might notice something's missing in the side. And this computer has a little bit of an add-on. Special bolt-on feature. Look at that. What's going to happen there then? Obviously playing with magnetrons is extremely dangerous. You can get burns, you can be blinded, and all sorts of problems. So definitely don't try this one yourself. Look at that, I want fucking flames. All I've got to do is leave the room, press the remote button, and we'll see what happens. I better move that camera back, because I don't want that getting nuked. But we do want to see what happens. I want flames. Right, I'm leaving the room and I'm going to press the button. Give us a shout when there's flames I'll come back up here and piss on it. You ready? Here we go. Power's on. Oh, computer's died. Anything good? Yeah. Killed it, though. Let's have a look. Oh, there's smoke coming out of the computer. I think we ought to give it a bit more. Should we nuke it some more? Won't hurt, will it? Fuck it. And away it go, bang, I'll come back. Oh, I heard something. Oh, it smells nice up here. I ain't smelt that for a while. I think it needs more. That was back on. Look at that. Tell Microsoft about that one. Excellent. Oh, I want to see the damage in there. Mmm, look at that. Self-destruct. With a little help. A little press of the button. I want to have a look in there. Carefully. Well, there's the antenna for the magnetron. I think the computer might be damaged. The fan there's a little bit melted. Excellent. So there you are. That's how to microwave your PC without putting it in the microwave. 
because it wouldn't fit. But please, ladies and gents, do not try that one yourself. That one there has a magnetron strap to it, and we're gonna nuke it just because I want it. Oh, and when it's on, have a little look at the aerial. You might notice something interesting. What I want to know is what is gonna happen in the name of science if we fill the inside of that telly up with microwaves. How about that then? Has to be done. Rude not to. Mm. Let me just plug it in. Move the light up. Right, this is remote control. So I'm going right out of the room. And I'm going to press the button. Oh. Cool. 